All right, math reflective, getting back to it. Take one with my first period class. Okay. You can laugh. That was. Okay. All right. So here we go. Yesterday we started Unit 2 Proportional Relationships. And today we're going to learn how we can see how a proportional relationship can be represented in a table. We're going to start with this notice and wonder right now. So I want you to look at this and spend a minute or so. It says paper towels by the case. Here is a table that shows how many rolls of paper towels a store receives when they order different numbers of cases. Take a minute of quiet time and think about what you notice and what you might wonder. You could jot down your notice and wonder and then we're gonna share in just a moment. All right, that should be enough time to be thinking about what you might notice and wonder. This is an actual instructional routine. It's called notice and wonder and the reason I love it so much is everybody has an entry point. No matter what you notice about it, you are correct. So everybody can get into the math and be connected and we can build this knowledge together. Let's get started. What do you notice or what do you wonder? Skipped two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. And you're talking about the number of cases? Okay. I'm just going to put your initials there. Let's do a one, two, three clap for him. One, two, three. Good job. What do you notice or what do you wonder? 12 paper towels. I'm going to put PT. 12 paper towels for each case. Let's do a one, two, three clap for that notice. One, two, three. Now, yesterday I want to connect to what we talked about because I was filling you in about equivalent ratios and we were talking about a unit rate. Remember I said a unit rate is the amount per one of something. It's the amount of something for every one. Did she just tell us the unit rate? 12 paper towel rolls for each one case. Yes, that's the unit rate. Good job. Okay, what else do you notice and wonder? Um, I noticed that like the last two boxes for the number of patients and uh, number of patients towels, that's multiplied by two. Okay, so you're noticing this right here. But the boxes above that are not multiplied by two. Okay, so you're noticing some are multiplied by two. Some not. I'm just going to put J because I actually forgot the first letter, so we're just going to leave it as J. All right, excellent. One, two, three. Good. We're celebrating everybody's contribution. Yes. To add on to what um, he was saying. Um, we don't um, want to name students. The first two um, number of cases and rolls of toilet paper are times three. Okay, so you're noticing here it's multiplied by three. Excellent job. One, two, three. And remember, we talked about how this relates to unit one. How does that relate to unit one? What is that timesing by three? Way at the back corner. Um, that relates to how when you move down the scale of copy, that you just like the size has to be multiplied by the same number. Yes, excellent. Each side would have to be multiplied by the same number, and that represents scale factor. Okay, what else do you notice and what do you wonder? Right at the back there. Um, I, I noticed that. So you're noticing here there's a lot of odd numbers, mostly. Yeah, and I think that's a bit odd. And that's a bit odd. I would agree. One, two, three. What else do you notice or what do you wonder? Were your, was your hand up? Okay. Yes, go ahead. Where do you notice the 12? Wow, where do you notice that? That was great. Let's do a one, two, three clap. One, two, three clap. The check is in the mail for all of you for your contributions because we value every single person's notice and wonder just the same. That's interesting. He noticed something that we hadn't talked about yet, and it's only lesson two, so we're just still beginning this unit. Every, going across the table, 
the first column times the second column. We've got that times 12 to equal the second column. Notice that, write that down. Everybody should be writing that part down, that we're going across the table by multiplying by 12. That's gonna become very important. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this. Does anybody have a wonder based on that? Anybody have a wonder? What's your wonder? Okay, so you're connecting to the crescent moons. I love it. What do you, oh, it reminds you of it. Yeah. Okay, so it reminds you of the crescent moons activity. And what's the same about it? In the crescent moons, we are comparing what? So, you're comparing the and the so we're comparing the L and the W, the length and the width, and here we're comparing cases to rolls of paper towels. That's an excellent noticing. One, two, three. So we are going to dive into this lesson and find out more about how we can use tables to see proportional relationships.